Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Project YouTube channel today. I'm back with another video. And uh, officially the Euro 2020 groups have ended. And Group F, the group of death, ended with a bang. Two amazing games. Both games, Portugal against France and Germany against Hungary, both finishing 2-0. And uh, it was just drama all game long. Uh, it started off with a Portugal goal through Cristiano Ronaldo with a penalty uh, that gave the Portugal a 1-0 lead and uh, Hungary got, got an early goal against uh, Germany as well uh, in the 11th minute through Adam Salai and uh, Hungary had a chance to go through in this uh, today but they messed it up in the 85th minute uh, that uh, Germany equalised but in the other game, Portugal against France, amazing game, amazing game. Some weird calls by the referee and some penalties. Uh, you could argue the first one for Portugal was on a penalty, but I think I'd give it because uh, Loris clearly hits um, uh, Pereira in the head. Uh, but uh, the penalty that France got that made it 1 all, that Mbappe won against Semedo, even though Semedo. Uh, got totally destroyed by Mbappe in that play. I don't think it was a penalty. It was just a bit of a push. I, you should not be giving that as a penalty, in my opinion. And uh, France got uh, a goal back with that in the 46th minute of the game, just before half-time. Uh, Benzema scored the penalty and uh, drew France level. Uh, after that, second half, Karim Benzema right after the start of the second half with an amazing ball by Paul Pogba, who was immense today. Paul Pogba had some very big, uh, some very great passes, so a great shot that uh, Rui Patricio saved a bit later on. But that threw ball towards Benzema, the run by Benzema and the ball by Paul Pogba was, was incredible. And... Um, that gave France a 2-1 lead and uh, Portugal were not looking great at that point because uh, Germany had equalised, uh, no because Germany were losing so uh, with uh, France be winning against Portugal they were, they were going to be knocked out if the results stayed that way but uh, in the 66th minute uh, in the 60th minute, sorry, uh, Portugal got a goal, uh, another penalty, clear penalty this time, handball by uh, Koundé, uh, and Ronaldo never misses a penalty in big moments, made it 2-2, uh, and the game pretty much, a bit later on, just completely, both teams were fine with the draw, and it just basically ended like 10 minutes before it should have ended. Uh, both teams were happy with the draw, they didn't uh, make any chances. The last chance this game had was an amazing shot by Paul Pogba that Rui Patricio saved. Uh, amazing shot by Paul Pogba. And as that was happening in the other game, uh, Kai Havertz equalised for Germany in the 66th minute of the game. And right after that, after right after the goal in the kickoff, uh, Hungary go goal, 68th minute. Andras Schaefer and uh, if Hungary could have just hold on for a little bit more they would have qualified uh, in second place I think as well uh, no actually in uh, in third place because Portugal were drawing with uh, France at that stage uh, so they would have qualified ahead of Germany but Leon Goretzka in the 85th minute of the game gave Germany that vital point that saved them from a total, total uh, destruction. Because uh, if they were to be eliminated by Hungary, it would have been, it would have been a massive failure for this Germany side, who is now going to be facing a England side at Wembley. It's not going to be easy for Germany. I think they can do it, because uh, England have not looked great so far. Um, but it's not going to be an easy game for them, especially because it's at Wembley. Uh, France are now going to be playing against Switzerland. Basically got the easiest draw out of the three teams that qualify today. And Portugal are going to be playing against Belgium in what is going to be 
one of the best games of the Euros in my opinion. Both teams are so good going forward but they have so many problems defensively. Could be a very high scoring game. Uh, but now that I've said that it's probably going to end a nil-nil draw. Uh, but we have some great games. Uh, the round of 16 games are England against Germany. Croatia against Spain, Italy against Austria, Belgium against Portugal, Wales against Denmark, Netherlands against the Czech Republic, Sweden against Ukraine and France against Switzerland. I'm going to be doing a video in uh, one or two days doing all my predictions for the round of 16 and um, I'd like to hear what you guys thought of the games today. Uh, who do you think is going to go through to the last eight of the, of the Euros? I'm really excited to know and uh, don't forget to also drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.